Hello summoners and welcome to another Pro Guides video. I'm Crumbs and I'm here with our 12.14 low elo tier list. Our regular tier list, which we post with the patch rundown and mid patch updates, is aimed at around a high gold to platinum skill level. This one covers everything below that. Obviously, any tier list is a bit nuanced, but in general, this is a great way to know what champions to pick and which to avoid to instantly give you a better shot at winning your solo queue games. And one last thing before we jump into things, I just want to give a shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our meta videos and guides like this are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players and they're available 24-7 just waiting to share everything they know with you. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to ProGuides.com for some professional help now. As always, we'll start off our list with the top laners. Shivana is being added to the top lane tier list as an OP tier pick, making her the third champion that is normally seen in the jungle performing at the highest level as a top laner. The build is pretty similar to what you see on jungle Shivana, but with a couple of change-ups. You'll still have the core of Frostfire and Demonic Embrace to beef you up so you can melt people with her ridiculous base damage since that's pretty much necessary for Shivana to work these days. The swaps you'll be making are rushing Lucidity Boots over Sorcerers and making your third item Titanic Hydra for easy wave pushing. The best thing about Shiv Top is there's no crazy mechanics or combos to worry about. She's a very easy champion and you can basically just stat check your foe to death. I really recommend you run Flash or Ghost with Ignite. People that run TP Ignite are just begging to die to ganks. Plus, TP is being nerfed again this patch. Just trust me and run a Mobility Summoner. Nasus moves up to the S tier for this patch as the meta has shifted back and forth and landed in a spot where most of the top laners being played are relatively low threat compared to previous meta. It's made it really easy for him to scale up in most situations. As long as you focus on wave management so you don't die to jungle ganks, there's a really good chance you make it to his OP mid game power spike. Sejuani also moves up to the S tier here. Her power comes from her ability to basically never lose out on a health trade. It's not that Sej hits crazy hard or anything, you just take short bursts with her combo using her W and a couple of autos to freeze opponents, shatter them, and then back away. Between the mini knockup from her Q and the stun from her E, your foe isn't really left with much time to get any damage back on you. This quickly leads to a big health advantage and your opponent being in the spot where you can go for an all-in. Wukong is sad that he is getting demoted to the A tier. He's still a solid laner and definitely brings a lot to the table, but he just doesn't compare to the other champions in our two higher tiers. You can still definitely pick him in most games, don't worry about that, but the matchups will have a big influence on how much of an impact you have. Tom Kent drops to the B tier. This tier is for the picks that are either supremely meh or super situational, and Tom falls into the latter group. He's still an incredibly oppressive foe for certain champions, specifically squishier carries, but he doesn't pose nearly as much of a threat to other tanks, juggernauts, or beefier bruisers. And since those guys make up our strongest picks in this role, the times where Tom looks really good are not too common. Akali gets dropped to the C tier. You can make an argument that she has at least a couple of decent matchups, which could qualify her for the B tier. But the thing is, even in her best games, there are always other picks that can win easier and have more of an impact on the game. Maokai is also getting a demotion to the C tier. There once was a time long long ago where Maokai top was completely broken, able to both side lane and team fight at an OP tier level. But now his kit has been so heavily shifted around that he really only functions as a support. Riot has tried time and time again to correct that, but I think the best bet is to give him a mid scope update if they really want to put him back in the top lane. Now for the jungle, here's our list. Amumu is getting promoted to the OP tier. Amumu has always been a very reliable champion in low elo, being part of Bronzodia since season one, specifically the lower right leg. But right now, he's so good that he's even high up on the tier list in the upper elos as well. If he's popping off in diamond, then there's no doubt that he's a monster in silver and lower. The biggest weakness you see in most team comps in solo queue is a lack of engage. So Amumu is a welcome addition to any team. But being a tanky engage champ doesn't take away from your ability to carry with him. 
Amumu does damage, like a lot of damage. You can very easily wipe out a backline on your own once you're ahead. Master Yi is also getting promoted to the OP tier. What a surprise! Just like Amumu, he's another champion that has always been dominant in low elo, and with the buffs Riot gave him on 1213, now he's just ridiculously strong. He has true 1v9 potential once you make it to 3 items, so just avoid griefing your early game by forcing dumb fights and ensure your late game, the game will be easy peasy. Volibear has been a true terror in the jungle for what seems like since he got reworked, and while Riot did finally give him a pretty hefty nerf last patch, it was just barely enough for us to drop him down to the S tier. He still has a quick jungle clear and tons of early pressure, so you'll be reliably carrying plenty of games with him still. In higher elos, Wukong is pretty much still doing just as well as he was before his last round of nerfs, but in lower tiers, he actually seems quite a bit weaker, so we'll be moving him down to the A tier. Fiddlesticks is getting promoted to the A tier. In high elo, he's disgustingly strong, arguably being the best jungler in the game right now. But his playstyle just doesn't work great in lower elo. You need good vision control and a team that works together to play around your surprise bolts. Meanwhile, Poppy is getting demoted to the B tier. She's just all around pretty meh. If you snowball early, she can serve the role of being a beefy bruiser assassin hybrid, but so many other champions just do everything she tries to do better. As a reminder, this is a low elo tier list. I know she's very popular in pro and high elo, but this is for low tier. Our favorite evolutionary bug, Kha'Zix, is getting demoted to the C tier. Over the past couple of seasons, he's been one of the most dominant champions in the jungle, but he also seems to be on Riot's list of champions that can never be bad for too long, so I'm sure he'll see some buffs soon. Viego is dropping to the C tier as well. Sometimes a champion is just too hard to reliably pull them off in lower elo, and Viego is one of those champions. When his base kit was more OP, he used to do a lot better, since Viego is pretty simple to play. But now, you really have to know how to use the champs you're taking over in fights to get the most out of him. D stands for dropped, and that's what happened to Nidalee as she's now in the D tier. She's just objectively bad right now on top of being incredibly hard to pull off even when she is strong. Unless you're a one trick, stay away from her. Rumble is also getting dropped to the D tier. Once upon a time, he was disgustingly OP in the jungle, but that was over a year ago. Now, all he has is a decent clear speed. You lose basically every 1v1 matchup and you don't have the scaling to make up for it. That was our jungle list, and as you know, the mid laners are next. Heimerdinger's 12.12 buffs pushed him way over the top, so we're moving him up to the OP tier. He wins or at least neutralizes all lanes, has really good skirmishing and teamfighting early on, scales insanely well, and has some of the highest DPS in the game. That is, of course, if they don't kill your turrets. Vagar gets moved down to the S tier. He's still one of the best scaling picks you can go for, and his baby cage is one of the best basic abilities in the game. But he's not as overbearing as he previously was. He could actually even be a tier lower than this, since this patch will favor champions that can fight for early objectives. So keep an eye out for our next video to see if this one changes. Galio moves down to the B tier, although this is another iffy adjustment. He's been doing pretty averagely lately, but Predator Galio could be making a comeback with a higher value on early game proactivity we'll be seeing on this patch. Echo moves down to the B tier. He's a pretty consistent champion, but his early game impact is really low. You can safely farm out most lanes, but it takes hitting two items to really be useful. You're basically coin flipping to reach that point. Zoe gets demoted to the D tier. She's always done better in higher elo than low, and since she's doing bad up there, she's definitely not something you want to pick down in the lower ranks. She gets bullied in lane, and even when you do have a decent early game, she's still really hard to pull off later on. Moving things on to the bottom lane, we're starting off with Sivir, who has become the best AD carry in the game, dominating all levels of the ladder, so we're moving her up to the OP tier. She can neutralize any lane, instantly clearing waves and vacuuming up all the farm for easy scaling. Post 3 items, her DPS is absolutely insane, being able to wipe the entire enemy team if they clump up for your ricochet bounces. As with mid, Heimerdinger moves up to the OP tier here as well. He's basically the AP alternative to Sivir, mirroring her hard shoving and hyperscaling abilities. Do beware in some matchups where the AD carries outrange your turrets, that will be no fun for you. 
Miss Fortune moves up to the OP tier for low elo with her ability to easily bully lanes with little to no counterplay on the opposing side. Anytime she starts to get a bit strong in the mid and upper elos, she becomes super strong in silver and under. And since most hyper carries have been nerfed at this point and the enchanters that pair with them are taking a hit in this patch as well, she's definitely rising to the top. Last but certainly not least, we've got our supports. Both Amumu and Zac are being placed in the OP tier for this patch. They're the only two tanky engage supports that have been doing well lately. In fact, they're the only ones that I would even say are worth picking at all. And with this patch, putting an emphasis on fighting for objectives, their huge team fighting presence should make them even stronger. Soraka and Janna are moving down to the A tier for the same reasons. Enchanter items are taking a bit of a hit, making their scaling less reliable. They'll still be reliable in games, but you can't just turn off your brain and auto win late game teamfights with healing and shielding. Seraphine's nerf, along with the changes to the enchanter items, are definitely going to hurt her a bit, but we think in higher elos, she's still going to be very strong in the upper ranks. But this is our low elo tier list, where people don't really always work together as a team. She's just kind of above average, even before her upcoming nerf, so we'll be placing her in the B tier for now. Even when Senna was really broken in higher elo, she was performing poorly in lower ranks. Now that Eclipse has been nerfed for ranged champions and Senna herself got a hot fix on 12.12, .12, she's really struggling. So we're moving her down to the C tier. If you want to play a carry support, just abuse Zyra or some other poke mage. Apologies for the disappointment, but Yumi is not being deleted, she is in fact just being demoted to the C tier. She's always been a very frustrating champion for AD carries to lane with, she basically makes the lane 1v2 after all. Her saving grace was that she's basically a hyper carry support. You just attach her to your best carry later on and help them 1v5 teamfights, but with this patch, nerfing both Yumi and the item she builds, you'll find the trade-off just isn't worth it anymore. She'll be tied with Karma for the worst enchanter in the game. Woohoo! Tom Kench is also being demoted to the C tier with a coordinated team at a higher level. He can definitely fill a certain niche for keeping an AD carry safe or being super oppressive with a fasting Senna. But in low elo, that's putting a lot of faith in your AD carry and the rest of your team to play the game outright. You're way better off picking a champion that can make plays or just generally be more useful in 5v5s. And that about wraps things up for our 12.14 low elo tier list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Since making this list involved going over all the champions in all the roles, I'm sure we overlooked a pick here or there. So feel free to let us know if you think we missed something down in the comments below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until next time, good luck on the rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.